Here are my top four tips for surviving a divorce. My name is Laura Hurd, and after 35 years of representing people in divorces in San Antonio, Texas, I'm here to give you some of my best advice. Number one, keep your kids out of it. Don't use your children as confidant. Don't talk about the divorce where your children can overhear you. Remember, no matter how bad your spouse is, that's still your child's parent and they need to be able to look up to their parent and love their other parents. So don't let your children be a sounding board or hear your complaints about the other side during this highly emotional time. Number two, if you want it, keep it. As far as personal property items, we can put them in the divorce divorce decree or work them out in mediation to say he has to give you back such and such or she has to give you such and such by a certain time. But those arrangements oftentimes don't really work out in reality. Once they have something of yours and they are mad at you, the chances of getting it back are not real good. If you move out, take as much of your stuff with you when you move out as you can. And if you're staying in the house and the other spouse is moving out, if it's really important to you, put it away somewhere where they can't get it. Don't let them take it away and then spend the next year of your divorce trying to get it back again. Number three, stay off of social media. Don't even get on social media during your divorce as far as posting anything because this is a highly emotional time. You're not thinking straight and things that you think might be venting or might be helpful to your case could actually hurt you and come back to haunt you. And it is generally just best to not even have pictures of yourself or talk about your divorce on social media at all while the divorce is pending. And number four, and this is the best one of all, prepare to litigate and be willing to mediate. In the end, the best settlements come from people who are prepared to go to trial. And even if you think that it's going to settle, you think that you're being being fair and that the other side will agree to stuff. It's best to get everything ready so that if the settlement falls through that you're ready to go to trial. And that gives you the strength to argue from a position of strength in case of a conflict. And that is the best way to be able to settle is if you have the position of strength. My name is Laura Hurd and I have written a book called Divorce and Estate Planning in Texas. Feel free to write or call and ask for a copy of my book and I'll be happy to send you one. Please subscribe and like this channel.